So I'm going to be going over the best online poker sites to play high stakes for U.S. players. Now, I'm going to start things off by saying playing high stakes online poker is not easy. The swings are massive and you need a good sized bankroll to do it. However, if you want to give it a shot, Ignition Poker is where you want to be playing specifically in the six max cash games. Now, I'm actually going to break down six hands for you guys playing some 510 no limit, which is a thousand dollar buy in. And of course, if you guys want to get started here or learn more about Ignition, I'll throw some resource links in the description. Anyways, we've got some good hands in this session, and I'm going to kind of just go through my thought process. We're also going to have an all in moment with pocket tens you're not going to want to miss, so you know, stick around for it. Anyways, first hand, we had an ace king. I ended up folding this. I just felt like the guy probably had, you know, a hand here. And I went with my gut and folded the ace king, which is rough, man. You know, folding ace king right there, you bet, what, 80 bucks? But, you know, I gave it up and I think it was the right play. Sometimes when you're not sure, it's just best to fold. I've learned that one the hard way, and I do learn that one the hard way on a, you know, routine basis. Okay, next hand we had pocket kings, and I played this hand a little bit tricky. Uh, we had this guy put in a raise, and instead of three betting it, I decided just to make a call to see if somebody might throw a three bet in here. When you're playing high higher stake online poker, you're going to see a lot of three betting more frequently, especially with hands like ace jack or ace queen or you know sometimes mid pocket pairs like eights or nines you'll see people put in some crazy three bets but we didn't get it unfortunately however based on what what the board texture was here and how this guy played the hand i probably got as much as i could have um you know realistically here i think he had a couple high cards so i put in a value bet here a small one And it worked out. And I don't recommend playing pocket kings like that. You should be three betting it. But in that situation, you know, I try to play a little bit different because there were a couple people to act after me. And I was hoping for, you know, a three bet, but it didn't didn't go that way. Okay, here we go with the pocket tens. Now, this hand was absolutely insane. Get ready for it because we are going to have an all in moment here. All right, so I put in a standard raise to 30 bucks, but we are going to get three bet to around $100. And, you know, um, like I said, three betting at these levels of, uh, you know, buy-in levels, it's pretty normal to see three bets. Anyways, of course, I made the call here and get ready for this spicy flop because we hit that 10. Now, this board was really good for a couple of reasons. If he has a hand like aces or kings or ace king, it's going to be hard for him to fold here. So I decided just to shove all in. He's going to turn over a hand I was hoping for, like, uh, you know, aces or kings. We're really just dodging a king, and we did, man. And we got that nice uh, double up right there. And I'm not going to lie. If I was on the other end of that hand, I probably would have done the same thing. It's just one of those things where, you know, uh, it's tough, man. That's just a really tough beat, and it happens, you know. Like I said, it, I, I could have been on the other end of that. and uh, But I don't know. Maybe I would have folded it. it. It would have been tough, you know, but I would have had to think about it for a little bit for sure. Um, also, if you guys want to comment about that hand specifically, I'm curious to know if you would have done the same thing, how I would have played it or just made a call. But, you know, like I said, I had to put that guy in a range of what he had, and I was just right in that range, and it, it worked out. But I'm curious to know what you guys thought about how I uh, just shoved right there with the 10s. All right, anyways, I had a jack 10 on the next hand. We've got another uh, good hand coming up, so stick around if you're still watching this. All right, here we go with the ace king. Okay, pretty standard here. Going to raise it to 30, late position. Okay, another three bet to $110. I'm going to make the call, and we are going to hit a king. Now, <clears throat> still going to play this a little bit cautious. 
because honestly, looking at this, um, we could have the same hand. You know, it could be ace king versus ace king. It could be uh, pocket aces versus ace king. It could also be like pocket queens. Now, hated that card on the river, but fortunately, we went check check here. And he had ace queen, so that one you know worked out. We dodged the ace, and we somehow dodged a club right there. I have no, no idea how that happened. All right, next time we had a jack queen. All right, nothing there with the jack queen. All right, we got one more hand coming up here, which was another good one, and uh, yeah. But basically, you guys, ignition poker right now, I just feel like even at the higher stake games, the competition isn't as hard as you'd think, but playing high stakes online poker, you know, you have to have the bankroll for it. You really should have at least 20 buy-ins for whatever level you're playing. So if you're playing this level, you know, you want to have a 20K bankroll because let's say that you have... Uh, Let's say you have like five or 10 buy-ins. Whenever you're playing poker and you're stressed about the limits you're playing as far as like the money you have in your account, you're never going to play good and you're going to lose. It's just like one of those things. So you want to have a lot of cushion for whatever level you're playing. That way you can play really good poker and, you know, not not sweat the bad beats, right? Because it's, it's just what it is. Okay, anyways, uh, final hand here, we had the uh, pocket queens. Feeling pretty good about the hand right now. Just looking to dodge an ace or a king, honestly, if he would have made the call, but he didn't. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed another quick session here on Ignition. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next poker video.